Welcome to Nightmare Nexus, where the thrill of sports meets the mysteries of the unknown. Today, we delve into the ghostly side of European football, a game watched and loved by millions, yet not without its own tales of the paranormal. From haunted stadiums to cursed teams, join us as we explore chilling legends that hover around the edges of the pitch. The Ghost of White Hart Lane The Ghost of White Hart Lane is a tale that haunts the legendary Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, shrouded in mystery and superstition. For decades, fans and players alike whispered of a spectral figure seen wandering the grounds, often on misty match days or in the eerie silence of the night. Legend has it that the ghost is that of a die-hard fan who passed away before witnessing his beloved Spurs lift a long-awaited trophy. Some say it's the restless spirit of a former player, still bound to the pitch where he once gave his heart and soul. The figure, clad in an old Spurs jersey, is said to appear in the stands, watching with silent anticipation, or lurking in the stadium's corridors, disappearing around corners before anyone can approach. Players have occasionally reported strange feelings, an unexplained chill, the sensation of being watched, or shadows flitting across the field during training. Groundskeepers speak of footsteps echoing in empty hallways or flickering lights in the dressing rooms. Whether a mere myth or a true haunting, the ghost of White Hart Lane remains a part of the law, entwined with the spirit of the club itself. The Phantom Whistle The Phantom Whistle is a chilling phenomenon whispered about on the football pitches of England. Players and referees alike have recounted tales of a mysterious whistle that echoes through the air during crucial moments of a match. The unsettling part? No one on the field is blowing it. Legend says the phantom whistle appears when the game reaches its most intense point, just before a decisive goal or a controversial foul. The sound is so clear and sharp that it causes players to pause, looking around in confusion, expecting the referee to hold play. But the official stands with his whistle still clenched in hand, just as bewildered as the players. Many believe the whistle belongs to a long-dead referee, one who made a career-ending mistake that cost a team their victory. Now, his restless spirit roams football grounds, blowing the whistle in protest, trying to correct wrongs that can never be undone. Some teams claim they've heard the whistle only when on the verge of a monumental win, as though the phantom seeks to disrupt their glory. While skeptics chalk it up to coincidence or the echoes of distant fans, the legend of the phantom whistle continues to unsettle those who've heard it. The Spectre of the Signal Iduna Park The Spectre of Signal Iduna Park is a ghostly legend that lingers among the Borussia Dortmund faithful. Known for the thunderous roar of its famous yellow wall, the stadium is equally famed for a far more mysterious presence, a shadowy figure said to haunt the stands and corridors. Fans whisper that the spectre is the spirit of a devoted supporter who passed away during a match many years ago, their heart giving out in the frenzy of an intense derby. Clad in black and yellow, the figure is sometimes seen in the upper tiers, standing motionless in the sea of chanting fans, or pacing along the sidelines long after the final whistle has blown. Players have reported strange occurrences, a cold breeze that swirls unnaturally on warm days, disembodied footsteps in the tunnel, and doors that creak open on their own. Groundskeepers swear they've seen flickers of movement out of the corner of their eyes late at night, only to turn and find no one there. Though the specter of Signal Iduna Park is never hostile, its presence is unsettling, a reminder that the stadium's history is as much about passion and emotion as it is about victories and defeats. The Ominous Owl the Ominous Owl is a spine-chilling legend in South American football, where superstition runs deep. This eerie bird is said to appear before some of the continent's most heated matches, a harbinger of doom for whichever team its gaze falls upon. Fans across Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay have shared tales of seeing a shadowy owl perched high in the stadium rafters or swooping over the pitch just as tensions peak. The bird is not just any owl, it's described as impossibly large, with glowing eyes that seem to fixate on the team's crest, casting a shadow of misfortune. Players who've witnessed the ominous owl often speak of sudden bouts of misfortune, critical injuries, missed penalties, or fluke goals against them. Some say its haunting screech echoes moments before disaster strikes. In 1969, 
During a fiercely contested Copa Libertadores final, fans swore they saw the owl perched on a floodlight just before the home team star striker collapsed with an unexplained injury. The team went on to lose in heartbreaking fashion. Ever since, whenever the ominous owl is spotted, it sends shivers down the spines of players and fans alike, a symbol that fate is about to turn for the worse. As the Lightning Curse In Congo, during a match in 1998, a sudden lightning strike reportedly killed an entire team on the field, leaving the opposing team unharmed. This bizarre and tragic event has fueled rumors of a curse or supernatural intervention in football matches in the region. The lightning curse is a feared phenomenon in the heart of Congolese football, where it is believed that storms and supernatural forces can decide the fate of matches. According to legend, the curse is cast by powerful witch doctors who, when called upon, summon devastating lightning storms to punish teams or players for perceived wrongdoings or to turn the tide of a game. The most famous tale of the lightning curse comes from a match in the 1980s, when two rival teams were battling for the national championship. As the underdogs were about to score a winning goal, a bolt of lightning struck the pitch, stopping the match and injuring key players. The storm that followed was so fierce that the match had to be postponed. When the teams reconvened, the once dominant squad collapsed under mysterious circumstances, their players moving sluggishly as if under an invisible weight. The underdogs won, but rumors swirled that their victory was aided by dark forces. To this day, whispers of the lightning curse persist. Players often make protective gestures before matches, and fans keep an eye on the sky, watching for any sign of an ominous storm brewing over the stadium, fearing that the curse may strike again. The Haunted Locker Room the haunted locker room at Estadio Hernando Sills, Bolivia's highest altitude stadium, is a tale whispered among players who have felt its eerie presence. Nestled 3,600 meters above sea level in La Paz, the stadium already challenges athletes with its thin air, but the real fear lurks beneath, in the dark corners of the visiting team's locker room. Legend has it that the locker room is haunted by the spirit of a former player who met an untimely death during a match decades ago. Some say his heart gave out due to the intense altitude, while others claim a foul play was involved. Since then, strange occurrences have been reported by visiting teams. Players describe sudden drops in temperature, lights flickering for no reason, and an overwhelming sense of being watched. Some even claim to hear distant footsteps or lockers slamming shut on their own, despite no one being there. Visiting teams have also reported a wave of unexplained fatigue, as though the very air inside the room is heavier, draining their energy before stepping onto the pitch. Many believe this is the ghost's way of ensuring no opponent ever leaves the Estadio Hernando Sills with an easy victory. Some believe The Ghostly Goalie in England, a lower league team claimed their stadium was haunted by a former goalkeeper who was seen during foggy mornings, diving to save ghostly goals. His apparition was so convincing that it reportedly scared off new goalkeepers from joining the team. The ghostly goalie is a chilling legend that haunts the football pitches of rural England. According to the tale, this spectral figure appears only in the most crucial moments of local matches, particularly when one team seems destined to score. Always dressed in an old-fashioned goalkeeper's kit, complete with a cap and heavy gloves, the ghostly goalie is said to materialize in the goalposts, standing tall and still, as if daring anyone to challenge him. The first recorded sighting occurred decades ago during a rain-soaked match in a small village. The home team, seconds away from victory, lined up for a penalty kick. But just as the striker stepped up, a dense fog rolled in, and through the mist, a shadowy figure appeared between the posts. The ball was struck perfectly, but somehow, the mysterious goalie made the impossible save. The figure vanished as quickly as it had come, leaving both teams in stunned silence. Since then, similar sightings have been reported across the country. Always at critical moments, the ghostly goalie arrives, making miraculous saves and then disappearing into the fog. Some say he's the spirit of a keeper who died mid-match, forever defending his goal. From ghostly players to mysterious omens, football is a sport as rich in paranormal legends as it is in passionate fans. 
These stories remind us that sometimes, the game transcends the known limits of the pitch, touching the realm of the inexplicable. Thank you for joining us on this ghostly journey through the world of football. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tales from the mysterious side of sports with Nightmare Nexus. Until next time, keep your eyes on the shadows, and maybe think twice before you whistle in an empty stadium. Subscribe for more mysterious sports stories. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share to keep fascinating content coming here at Nightmare Nexus.